The world of humanoid robots just got a serious new contender. Meet the Booster K1, a compact, high-performance, humanoid robot that's redefining what's possible in affordable robotics. Standing just under 1 meter tall and weighing around 20 kilograms, this little powerhouse isn't a toy. It's a fully capable development platform designed for researchers, educators, and robotics teams around the world. And the most surprising part? It starts at just around $5,000, a fraction of what most humanoid robots cost. So what exactly can the K-1 do? And how does it compare to the giants of the industry like Tesla Optimus, Figure 03, or Unitree G-1? Let's break it down. The Booster K-1 comes from Booster Robotics, a company making waves in the competitive robotics scene, especially through RoboCup, the international humanoid soccer competition. Their robots have already achieved top rankings in the kid size category, proving that K-1 isn't just lab equipment. It's battle-tested in real motion and real strategy. Physically, the K-1 packs 22 degrees of freedom, enough for smooth and dynamic movement. Each joint uses dual encoder actuators capable of up to 60 newton meters of torque, giving it the strength and precision needed for realistic human-like motion. Under the shell, Booster offers different performance tiers, ranging from 48 tops to a stunning 200 tops of AI computing power. That's enough to run complex perception and control models directly on board. The sensor suite includes a stereo depth camera, 9-axis IMU, and a 6-microphone array with a built-in speaker, giving the robot spatial awareness, balance, and the ability to interact through voice or sound. It supports ROS2, an open SDK, and full simulation compatibility, which makes it a dream machine for robotics developers and AI researchers. In real-world terms, what does that mean? It means the K1 can walk, balance, perceive its environment, and even perform complex movement tasks when trained with reinforcement learning frameworks, like Booster Gym, their open-source RL platform. The runtime is surprisingly solid for its size around 30 minutes of walking with a 2 ah battery, or up to 80 minutes with a 5 ah version, cruising at about 0.4 meters per second. That's not blazing fast like the Unitree G1 or Tesla Optimus. But remember, this robot is designed for accessibility and development, not high-speed industrial deployment. And that's exactly what makes it exciting. We're now seeing humanoid technology that once cost hundreds of thousands of dollars being distilled into something students, small research labs, or independent creators can actually use. It's an incredible time for embodied AI and robotics, and Booster K-1 is part of that new wave. Of course, there are some trade-offs. The K-1's walking speed is moderate and its runtime, under 90 minutes, means you'll still need frequent recharges. It's also not a plug-and-play home robot. You'll need to get your hands dirty with ROS, control systems, and a bit of coding. But that's what makes it so valuable. It's a genuine learning and experimentation platform that invites creativity and innovation. When you line it up next to heavyweights like Figure 03 or Optimus, the difference is clear. Those robots are meant for industrial-scale deployment. The Booster K-1, on the other hand, opens the door for the next generation of engineers to learn humanoid robotics hands-on, and at a price that's finally within reach. And the performance? For its class, it's one of the most capable mini humanoids out there. So whether you're a robotics researcher, an AI developer, or just someone who loves cutting-edge tech, the Booster K-1 is a glimpse into the democratization of humanoid robotics. In the bigger picture, the Booster K-1 shows how quickly robotics is evolving. Just a few years ago, humanoid robots were exclusive to major corporations and top-tier research labs. Now, companies like Booster Robotics are putting advanced mechatronics, high-end AI chips, and open-source frameworks into compact platforms anyone can learn from. It's not just another small robot. It's a symbol of the future. One where embodied AI isn't limited to tech giants, but open to the world. So, what do you think? Is the Booster K-1 the start of a new era in accessible humanoid robotics, or just another step on the long road toward practical humanoid AI? If you enjoyed this deep dive, make sure to hit that subscribe button and join the RoboFrontier community. We cover everything from humanoid breakthroughs to real-world AI systems, and trust me, What's coming next will blow your mind.
drop your thoughts in the comments, and tell me which robot you want to see next on Robo Frontier. Until next time, stay curious, stay creative, and keep pushing the frontier of robotics.